All right. So, our main menu has been completed. It's a little jank, but hey, it's completed. All right, and that only took me 20, well, yeah, about 20 minutes. So, the next thing we want to do is actually add character select. So, this menu that I skipped over last time. We're going to make a basic character select using some of my sources again because it's the only way to actually demonstrate the point. So let me again open up my game for reference just so, oops, wrong thing. Just so again, I don't give any bad information. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So, Okay. Where is desktop media 2002 new game new game. All right. So first thing we're going to do is actually make the stage select or I'm sorry, the character select. So character character select. All right. So again, character select is the same thing as a, uh, excuse me, as a main menu. It is nothing more than a background. So we're gonna find a uh, character select. Oops. Oop, no, no, frame. Nope, not frame. Uh, demo. So we're going to pick one of these for our background. Sure, I guess. Uh, nah, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this guy and just, I'm gonna make it work. So we're gonna go new. And I am going to put. Add new skill. G2. Gonna be weird looking. Actually, that looks kind of cool. So, loop your images. Go to skill. Grip movement, go to skill. Now, you all, oop. No, no, stop. So, system images is the images that are in the basic script. So this title cursor is on that system image. So for this, where is it? These first player, second player icons are the system images, which I will we will come back and uh, fill in because this will only work if those are filled in. So we want everything we want the character select icon or not the icons the character select cursors to be over our background so in this case i will add the character grid i will call it before the system images now like i said we are going to use one of my resources just or, or not resources one of my oh yeah one of my resources just so this is uh easier and faster for me, and I can demonstrate the point. Uh, so I think it's here. Those are PNGs. Duh. There it is. So, personal palette, new, and there's my character select. Condition, nope, script. Make it a loop. And there you go, right down there. There's character select. So now we go to game system. We're going to go into play <sighs> player one versus screen. Now we need to add a icon. 
So let's go back to our general sources. Original RTP, graphics, and I think it was under frame. Not under frame, it was under text. Why would it be under text when I think about it? No, I meant to go to effect. It's not under effect. Character. No. Objects? Be a box. Oh. I think these are actual stages. Yeah, these are actual stages. Demo. Yeah, we're going to go through with this one at a time, just so I can find the dang thing. Text. Text. Hmm. Wait, let me just be sure. Okay, it's not there. Is it in here? It is in here. Okay. So, this is a default character select square that I found. It was free online. We will use that. Gonna make it nice and simple. And then player two. Cursor after input is, so after they select their character, you know how like it stops flashing or something? So what we're going to do is we're going to swap them just to make it easy. So we're gonna take this, say copy, and put on player two. Oop, on. Copy, paste, copy, paste. So when player one selects their character, it will turn gray. When player two selects their character, it will turn red. And of course, we will do a loop and loop all of these guys to their image. I'm gonna be a little lazy. Let's copy and paste all of this, but it all redirects to the same one. It's just, I don't need to scroll down to do this. All right, so now we got our cursors. We got our cursors and we have our demo. So now we're set up to do a character select. So, this is the start position of the grid, which my default game said 300 by 300, I think. So we're going to try that first. Your distance between characters is how much the icons will move left and right on the X and Y. Obviously, mine is mistranslated and I have X on X. So my game had 55 and 57, which I guess at some point that work. Remember, mine is different. Oops save now your columns and rows is as they are columns and rows so i have on the x-axis i have two rows and on my columns i have six because i had 12 characters right now i don't have that but we're gonna go that so these last four the cursor positions are all experimental so we're going to uh have to mess with that first. So the cursor position is obviously the cursor position for player one and player two. And the selection width is, I believe that's like their, how far they move left and right. So let's just leave that. I didn't have character select anyway. Oops. Let's go back to basic script, save, test play. Actually, we're going to go from title. And we're actually going to pick versus mode. Look at that. We got our stage select running. Now, can I move? There you go. I can move, but... So right now, my icons are appearing at the center. And it seems... It can only move left and right because I think I only have two characters. Oh. Uh, oh no. Why is it reversed? Comms and rows are apparently reversed. Okay. So I have six going down and two going left and right. That's interesting. 
but now we know. So we're going to X out, go to character select. We're going to reverse this, 6 and 2. Now we know our starting position is too far, and we know that it is too high, so we need to decrease that. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're not going to try to line up the uh, starting position just yet. Ooh. Okay. So we overshot the X, which is fine. We'll just ease that over. We want to get it to start right here on this top left character. But we definitely went the wrong direction. I forgot. Everything is opposite here. So we want to increase the Y. And we'll increase the X just a little bit. Well, again, why Y is opposite, I'll never know. Okay, we're getting there. So we want to move the X a tad bit more, but now we want to decrease the Y a tad. So let's go to 350, increase the X. Ooh, we're, we're, we're getting there pretty close. So we're going to increase this by 10 and decrease this by 20. Ooh, almost. I think I went the wrong direction with the Y, but it's fine. Okay, I did go the right direction. So now we're going to do this by ones now. I'm going to say one, two, one, two, three, four. And for the Y direction, let's go also four. There. Nice. There you go. Now we got a good character. Oh, well, almost. But that's part of the learning process. That's good. So now you can see that I have the character select going. All right. So. I like the distance between characters for the Y, the up and down, but I don't. we need to space out this a little more. So let's get that to 60. Let's try that. Maybe that'll line up everything. Ooh, 60 seems a bit too much. See how, like, it's perfectly lined up on the left side, but then as I go to the right, it overshoots? Maybe 57 by 57 is what I'm looking for. 57 to up to 57 is what I'm looking for. That is perfect. Beautiful. So... As you can see by messing with this uh, distance between characters, I was able to line up the icons. That's all it does. So like if I increase this to 67, it's going to move 67 pixels from its starting position. As you can see, now it's not lined up. And as it goes further, it now has like off the grid. Now we'll save that. And I, get, I just found another typo. It says player one selection width, but yeah. So let's see if we can get this position to work, which I don't even remember. So let's make that 200 and see if we see a change. Nope, no change there. Nothing. Yep, no change. That is interesting. Okay. Well, I don't remember them doing anything for my, that doing it, these four settings doing anything for my demo, but if I remember and you guys are watching this, well, just know that I left these at zero in my tutorial. Therefore, if you guys leave it at zero in your game, it will work. So we made a character select and we made a main menu. Now understand with this character, so with all the icons, the reason why I left them at this position, it was just easier for me. When all of your, excuse me, when all of your icons are called, quote unquote, it will be called on this X, Y, zero point. So yeah, I can move this thing like over here or over here or center it like that. But trust me, in the long run, it's not 
really worth it to line up. Just leave it at default so you have an actual zero zero. So that way when you're here doing picking your coordinates, it actually li it's just easier to line up and you don't need to mess with anything. Remember your system images are those images in the basic script in your demos. So everything has to go in the back. Same thing with your main menu. I I wanted these on top because well, they were important. But eh, you can put them in before system images too. It it's just my habit. Now the last thing with your uh character select that I just that's it's something it's a reason why I didn't and the I'm sorry, not character select. Uh your main menu. Remember to go to your basics tab and uh go to use story mode and use versus mode, otherwise it won't uh detect. And then you can't even get into your character select screen. So there you go. We have character select.